Hi everyone, it's Lori. Thank you for joining me for another Cricut Quick Tip. Recently I've had a couple different requests asking how to take a JPEG with multiple images on it and break it apart so that you can manipulate the images separately. So for my demonstration I'm going to use this digital stamp set that I have by Pink Petticoat and I'm going to show you how I would go about breaking this apart so that I could just get one particular image without having to mess with the rest of it. So let's get started. Here we are in Cricut Design Space. We're going to go to Upload Images, Basic Upload. I'm going to navigate to where that image is. I have it on my desktop and I'm going to hit Open. I'm going to choose Moderately Complex Image. You'll see that I had a warning up there saying that the file was huge and that Cricut Design Space has manipulated it to a more manageable size and that's fine. So I'm going to hit Moderately Complex and then continue. And here is this image and you can see it did come in really large. So I'm going to zoom out a little bit and let's say I just want this image right here in the middle. How would I go about doing that? Well there's this perfect little button up here called crop. I'm going to click on that. I'm going to draw a square around the image that I want. And now if we zoom out we see that's all that I have. But if I hit preview, it's just going to cut a box around that, which is fine if that's what you want. But if you want this image to cut out, we're now going to grab the select and erase tool. We're going to click on the white. And now you can see it's going to print my image and cut around it, which is exactly what I want. Let's look at the preview. That's my cut lines. So we're going to hit continue. We want to preserve original image within shape. And what that's going to do, if we do not have that checked, all it's going to do is bring in those cut lines and I'm going to lose all the details of the owl and the branch. We want all this to print. So we want to make sure that is checked. And then we'll hit save. And here he is. And we'll hit insert image. And now we have the singular file that we can manipulate. If we want to go grab another one, we need to do the process again. We would go to Upload Image, Basic Upload, Browse, find the image, open, moderately complex, continue, and this time I'm going to grab this image. I'm going to hit the Crop tool, select around it. I'm going to hit the select and erase tool, erase the white. We can check our preview. Looks good. Continue. Make sure preserve original image within shape is checked and save. And we can grab that one and insert. And now we have two different owls that we can change the size separately but cut out at the same time. So I hope this helps. Um, some people did ask, why can't you just grab this image like this and break it apart within design space? The problem is with a print then cut image, you don't get those options. If you were to say insert shape and try to slice this, I select both of those. If I were to slice this, it's going to take away the image here. And you see now I just have two blank pieces. So that doesn't work. The other thing you could do, you would think, grab this and flatten it. But again, if you select them both, you can't, yeah, the slice option is not there. You could attach, but it's still going to print these other images. So if you're just trying to get one image, the best way to do it is to do it when you're doing the upload images. 
So thanks for watching. I hope this helped. Let me know if you have any questions and I'll see you soon. Thanks. Bye. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. You can find other Cricut Quick Tips on my YouTube channel and don't forget to visit me on my blog. Bye. Thank you.